Hey everyone, it's Lara from the blog OurEarlyHouse.com and today I'm just going to be doing a get it all done or day in the life type video. So first thing this morning, I'm just getting myself ready for the day, putting on a little bit of makeup, getting my apron on so I can tackle this day. For breakfast this morning, I made some French toast. We had a loaf of sourdough bread still left over from when I made bread last week. And so I turned it into French toast. I just mixed together some eggs and milk, a little bit of cinnamon, and fried this in the cast iron. And then we like to top it with peanut butter and honey. When we were done eating, I got the kitchen all cleaned up and just cleared off the table and got the dishes done. After I was done with the dishes, I noticed that the window above the sink and also the door in the kitchen leading out to the sunroom were pretty dirty, just filled with handprints. So I decided to get out my glass cleaner and clean that off really quick. I've been trying to think about things that I can do, kind of deep cleaning things, just something each day, just to stay on top of keeping the house clean. So today it was cleaning windows and the door. After I was done getting the kitchen cleaned up, I did a, a load of laundry. I like to run a load of laundry every night before bed, so in the morning we have a load to fold and the kids will usually help me put this away. After I was done with laundry, I had a few things to do in the kitchen to prep for the week. I started off by making some bone broth. I wanted to get this bone broth going because we were going to be making some soup for lunch later this day. Next, I started soaking some white beans. Also for the soup, I had a whole ham in the freezer and so I decided to set that out to defrost it. So on the menu today is ham and bean soup. After I had the bone broth and the beans going, I got my yogurt going. I like to make a gallon of raw milk yogurt every single week. We make this for smoothies. So I just pour the milk into my instant pot, add in about a cup of yogurt from my previous batch, whisk it together, and today I had a little help with that. And then I turn it on to the yogurt mode and I ferment this for 24 hours. After our inside chores are done, we head outside. I collected the chicken eggs this morning and while I was getting eggs, the kids take care of feeding the kitties, dogs, and bunnies. And then I went on to the front porch with the never ending job of pulling weeds. I'm actually kind of looking forward to winter so I don't have to do this anymore, but I do love all the landscaping. Every week I try to find another area that needs to be weeded and so I'm just weeding and sweeping the front porch this morning to spruce up this area. After all the chores are done, it was time for the baby's morning nap. So when I get him down for morning nap, I'm sitting down just to answer some emails and do a little bit of blog work to catch up on since I didn't look at my email or anything over the weekend. Mm -hmm. 
When the baby woke up from his nap, it was time to get lunch going. So I strained the bones off of my broth that I was making. And then I strained my soaked beans and got them going for my soup. Got out my ham and started cutting up the ham. And I also diced up some carrots and onions to put into my soup. After lunch was made, I stayed in the kitchen to make some pumpkin bread. We had a family function this week and I'm making pumpkin bread to bring. And my daughter also made some oatmeal applesauce muffins to go along with this. After baking with my daughter and the lunch mess, it was time to clean up the kitchen again. This is a never ending job, it seems like. I'm constantly in here doing dishes, but it doesn't matter. It's definitely just all part of having a big family and cooking every meal from scratch. After the kitchen was cleaned up, we got the kids down for their afternoon quiet time. And I am making some poison ivy spray today. Some jewelweed that we had picked over the weekend and I just let it lay out to dry. And once it's completely dry, I just push it down into a mason jar and cover it with some alcohol. And then I add in a few drops of lavender and frankincense essential oil. And now I will let this steep for a couple of months and then I will strain the jewelweed out of the mixture. And this makes a really great spray for poison ivy. We have a lot of poison ivy here at the new house and so it is definitely something that we like to have on hand. After nap time was over, we did a little bit of playing outside and then I came in to make dinner. Tonight for dinner, I am making bacon and cheese butternut squash. I'm just starting off by peeling and dicing my butternut squash and then I added in some bacon that I also diced up, some spices and a little bit of oil and I just mixed this all together and baked it in the oven for about an hour. And at the end, I topped it with some cheese and let that melt on top. This made a really good butternut squash savory dish. Now with this, I also made some lemon pepper salmon and some roasted asparagus. We made some homemade lemonade to serve with dinner tonight, which is some fresh lemon with just some lemon juice, water, and a little bit of honey. The kids love this and it just makes dinner time a little bit more exciting. So every once in a while we'll make some homemade lemonade. So 
I serve the salmon with the butternut squash, the asparagus, and some sauerkraut. you guys enjoyed this video and just getting a little glimpse into our busy day in the life here at our house thank you so much for watching mm -hmm.